Today, I'm gonna to show you how to create a vignette in Photoshop. Hey there and welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace. You can find me on flurn.com where we make learning fun. And in today's episode, we're gonna show you how to draw more attention to your subject by creating a vignette. This technique is extremely easy to do. Basically, it involves adding a little bit more light where your subject is and then darkening around the borders. That's gonna make your viewer look directly at your subject. We had a great tutorial for you. Let's jump into Photoshop. So here's our sample image for today. Now you can actually download this sample image on flurn.com. Just follow the link right down below. So my first tip for creating a vignette is to zoom way, way out on your image. So let's go ahead and hit Control or Command minus a few times. There we go, nice and small. Now the reason you wanna do this is so you can see how it'll affect your image as a whole. If you're too close, you can kind of create something that doesn't look very realistic. So now that we're zoomed out, we're gonna go ahead and grab our elliptical marquee tool. Now my first step is to draw a marquee selection right around our subject. Now you can hold the space bar down here and that'll allow you to move your marquee as you're creating it. So we wanna make this a bit larger than our subject. There we go, something like that looks pretty good. So you can see we have a selection right around our subject. We're gonna go ahead and create a curves adjustment layer. So let's go to layer, down to new adjustment layer and over to curves. Great deal. Let's hit okay. It went ahead and applied that selection to my curves adjustment layer. So if I take my midpoint here and drag it up, you're gonna see it's gonna take the center of my image and make it brighter. Drag it down, it's gonna take the center of my image and make it darker. Let's just zoom in a little bit more so we can kind of see what we're doing. So a little bit brighter and a little bit darker. So we're gonna go ahead and make this a little bit brighter here we go in the center of our image. And now we just need to give it a blur because you can see this edge here is like super, super well-defined and it just looks kind of fake. Now, again, I want to be zoomed out and I'll just show you why here. Let's say I'm nice and zoomed into my image and I go to filter, blur, and then Gaussian blur for my layer mask here. We're going to just give it a nice blur. And I might think, okay, that actually looks pretty good. But if I zoom out, Look at this, when I'm zoomed out, it's super, super obvious that I created a vignette there, right? It doesn't look realistic at all. That's why we wanna be zoomed out. So let's just hit undo real quick. We've got the hard edge again. Okay, now let's zoom out and now we're gonna apply our blur. So we'll click on our layer mask, go to filter, down to blur and over to Gaussian blur. And I'm just gonna keep raising the radius here until I don't see any edge and it looks super natural. I just want it to look like it's a part of the photograph itself. And at this point, that looks great. Okay, I, I can tell that it's getting brighter towards the center of my image, but it doesn't look like it's something that's happening in Photoshop. It looks like a part of the photograph, and that's perfect. So let's hit okay. So zooming in and out, we can turn this off and on, and we can see we just added a little bit of bright area around our subject. Now we also have an entire set of Photoshop actions available on flurn.com that'll do all the work for you and introduce a few different types of vignettes. And you can go ahead and click on the link right down below to see that action pack. Now we're not done yet. We're gonna add one more vignette to the outside, making it darker, and it's gonna further enhance this effect. So we're gonna start off with the same steps as before. Let's go ahead and zoom out here. We're gonna go ahead and use our elliptical marquee tool again and create a big, big ellipse right here that almost covers the entire image. There we go. And don't forget, you can use the space bar to kind of move this around while you're creating it. So you can see I'm kind of following along the shape of my image too. In this case, I'm making uh, like a wide ellipse. There we are. So we went ahead and made our selection. Now we're gonna create a curves adjustment layer. So we'll go to layer, down to new adjustment layer and over to curves, hit okay. And this time we wanna click here in the middle and drag it down, okay, remember last time we put it up to draw more attention to our subject? This time we're gonna pull it down. But we have one thing we need to keep in mind, it actually just made the center of my image a little bit darker. So what we need to do is click on our layer mask and invert it. That's just gonna make it the opposite. So instead of making the center darker, it's gonna make the outside darker. So click on your layer mask and then just click Control or Command I on your keyboard. There we go, and that's gonna invert your layer mask. 
So now we can see it's gonna make the edges a little bit darker. Now comes our blur. So again, here, you wanna just be sure you're zoomed out. Just a tiny, tiny little image. This is gonna help it look more realistic. So we'll go to filter, blur, and Gaussian blur. Just make sure you're selected on your layer mask, by the way. So Gaussian blur, and then we just wanna use a really large radius here. The radius is gonna change for every image you work on, by the way, but I wanna choose a really large radius, and that just helps me to see how it's actually gonna look here, because a small radius, I'll be able to see the edges here. Using a very large radius, it's just gonna hide those edges. Perfect, let's hit okay. Now, in this case, I think it does look good. I just wanna extend my vignette a little bit wider. It's actually very easy to do. Hit Control or Command T for transform. And this is gonna allow me to actually transform my vignette. So you can see I can actually make it wider or uh, smaller. So in this case, I'm gonna hold Alt or Option and let's just click and drag that out just a little bit there. Okay, I really just wanna get the edges to be darker and hit Enter. There we go. So let's go ahead and turn that off and on. You can see just a subtle darkening effect here on the outside of my image and then here before and after with the lightning effect. So now let's go ahead and take a look at what both of those do combined. Here's our before and the after. Again, the before and the after. So as you can see, this technique is extremely effective at bringing more attention to your subject and it couldn't be easier. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. If you enjoyed it, go ahead and click on that subscribe button. We'll send you a free Photoshop tutorial every single week. Thanks again, I'll flirty later. Bye everyone. So as you can see this so as you can see so as you so as you can see this effect is extremely Wow. Can't even tell. Well, you can tell, but it looks natural. So. <laughs>